lord, I have come back with Durin also. It is time for my nephew to learn what it takes to lead. Durin told me of your work you two did in Utterby and Skaldstrop, and I must commend you for it. I do not think that John Gavar will long remain in the Iron Fold to trouble us, especially after you take care of those prisoners and let us destroy the lot there. Part of me wishes my nephew would remain here to assist me in finishing the job. As the Lord of the Iron Hills, I command much respect and bear a great deal of responsibility for maintaining their peace. But my brother Thorin outranks me in age and in authority. He calls for a son, and I will not stand in the way. It is time for my nephew to learn what it takes to lead, and to grow into the greatness of his name. Was it not for that very purpose that his father named him Durin? That is the purpose, yes. I hate when he talks like this. Yeah, <laughs> I love my uncle, but not a day goes by without him telling me that I must be Durin the Deathless come again. Can you imagine it? It is quite frustrating. It is not an uncommon name among my people, and no one forbade my father from naming me thus. It is not fair to compare me in such a measure. It will not be fair to anyone. What? Well, you got a point there. Hmm. You also got some shoes. Hmm. I understand another dwarf is to be traveling with us? Yes, I am ready to return to the Lonely Mountain with you, Pine Leaf. I understand there's another dwarf traveling with us, Authy Gem Cutter. Where is he to be found? At the quenching trough? Ah, you're welcome to go there and retrieve him, friend. I have spent more than enough time within those walls and do not desire to spend any more there. Now my thirst can only be quenched by the Battle of Glory, and that lies beyond Yarnfast. I will meet up with you after you have found Althe. Very well, I will do that when I'm ready, because I do have some other matters to take care of first. Right, uh, to Hall? How my heart beats within me! Lord Nayan truly lives up to his reputation! We are going to have to come up with a plan. Many lies weigh on our shoulders now. If you are going to pass as one of my people, you would need a disguise. I have some extra clothes. Uh, let us see what I can do. <laughs> you, you do know that there is this difference in height? Right? Yes? Alright, just in case... What, you have a daughter or something? <laughs> well, I suppose this will have to do. I do wonder how many of the refugees, though, are carrying a bunch of spears with them. Hmm. Good enough, I think. Yes, just keep your face covered and let me do the talking. And maybe keep the spears covered, too, if possible. Uh, let us travel to Eder Shamol and watch you do not get too close to the Jangavar outside the village. They're cruel, even to us. Very well. I will head over to Utterby. We've come to Utterby. Hopefully this will work. If not, uh, we have to fight our way through. Hmm. Seem to be many Easterlings there still. Here we are, Er Shamor. It, it means windy home in your tongue. Windy home. If only it were really at home, and not but work camp it has become. We must do as Lord and I asked, and find a way to undermine the Jagavar from within. I see no other way than to offer ourselves to Kunchat for work and see what opportunities present themselves. Perhaps, if we do well, we can meet their leader. Ach, Gulach, 
and discover more of their planes. My family is also from here somewhere being forced to work. I must find them and warn them of the dwarf attack before it is too late. All right, well, let's find this coon chot. Coon. Well, this isn't a very good start. Well, hopefully no one notices this. Boonkhat. Well, whatever his name is, I presume he'll be up here somewhere. Here goes nothing. Here we are in Utterby. Or Air Shamol, as you say. Now let's see if we can find this Kunkhat. Does look a little bit Dalish, doesn't it? They haven't taken down all the flags, I've noticed. Still some bells up there. I guess they haven't had time yet. Uh, hello. To Hall. We assumed you fell at Hammerstead when you did not return with the rest. Ah, Hulak will be pleased to hear that you survived your first taste of combat. And who is this with you? Fresh meat? <laughs> uh, take her to Kulker. He will put her to work. All right, well... Let's see, let's do some undermining, I guess, by completing quests in here. Ah, uh, hello. You would do well to stay in line. We only have a small amount of grain left in our stores, so we must find something else to eat. There must be edible plants out there somewhere, or else where there would be no animals there either, right? Well, are you waiting for? Go find some plants. Alright, I guess I could find some plants. Uh, right? What kind of plants? Forgive my poor appearance. Uh, he's right. There must be edible plants out there. Whether they're palatable is another matter. Let us also keep some of those plants for ourselves to help feed my people. Well, okay, I'll give you that. And what else do you need? Get to work! Come here, Chaser. If you really want to be useful, go hunting for us. The food left by the Dalish is running low, and we must find more. It seems that there are a few game animals out there to hunt, but that is your problem to figure out. Uh, well, yeah. I guess he must have seen the spears. Oh, well. All right, I can find some animals, right? Ah, yes. Well, uh, what did they expect? I have not seen any deer or boar here, have you? I suppose we would just have to hunt what we can find out there in the scrub and make do. We should save some, of course, for what we find as well. The Jagavara have been keeping all the food for themselves, having everyone else to go hungry. So, so far, it's... All right, do what they say about... Leave a bit aside for our friends. I suppose that could work. Guess we need to go out then. Oh, anything else? No, not yet. We do need to go outside and find these plants and animals. Will wolf meat do, I wonder? Not too sure about that, but... Let's see if there's anything edible there. Besides, they might be hunting the game animals. There you go. If we find some better food, we will leave the wolf meat to the to the Jangavar. Now let's see, is there any other stuff around here? 
Well, oh, there's a herd cow. Now, that looks promising. That looks quite promising. Especially if it's ignoring us. Whoops! There you go. Well, this is going to be quite a hunt that we're going to have here, but are there any herbs around here and vegetables and the like? Cabbage! That might go with something. I'll see if we can find some more of these because I think I got plenty of meat, but we're still lacking on edible plants. This should make enough cabbages. I think that's all we can carry. And it's getting pretty late, so let's get inside before it gets too dark. I've brought back the food you requested. Here are the vegetables. Yes, Chaya Seer. These foul cabbages are all you could find. Perhaps the taste can hold be boiled off. As for you, well, at least you can follow instructions. And here's the meat. What do you want, Chaya Seer? What is this meat? You got that from what? Ugh! It smells foul! I only hope we will soon move to the Dale Lands where we can eat meat fit for men again. Now, I presume I have other things to do around here? Let's see what he has to say. How would you like to separate yourself from the rest of the weaklings here? Cool curtails me you did the task you were given without complaint. That is a good start, but how would you like to separate yourself from the rest of the weaklings here? Shankavar proved themselves by defeating their betters in combat. Then they become the betters. If you succeed and climb the ranks, perhaps Hak Glock will notice you. But you must start at the bottom rung of the ladder. Find Jaldor and challenge him to a duel. If you succeed, perhaps some less menial task will open up for you. The duels are not meant to be to the death, but accidents <coughs> happen. <laughs> Wonderful. That looks like Jaldor over there. Uh, hello there, I've been asked to have a little spar with you. You wish to challenge me, Chayasir? You will end up dead, fool. Well, I think he did say something about accidents happening. You, Chayasir, need to learn your place. I'm not too sure if they intended to haul to help me in that. Oops. Hmm. At last, one who will listen. Uh, look around, friend. Some of my people are too sick to leave the village. They are in grave danger if you place, if the place becomes a battlefield. I know for a fact that the Dale folk left medicine behind, but the Jangavar are not letting anyone else to access it. Hmm. If we are careful, we can steal it out from under their noses. Well, I suppose we could try that. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Also, the Jagavar have been holding what food there is for themselves, leaving many to starve. Now that we have some food, we should give it to the most in need. It should give them strength enough to flee this terrible place. Right? I will give some food to refugees and find some medicine. Here we go. Uh, here's something to eat. Hmm. Ah, thank you for your kindness. I will escape when I can. Oops. 
I, I don't think he wants me to take the medicine. Oh well. I suppose I shouldn't have expected them to make that too easy. Ah! Oh, and you need some help here? Here, try this. Ah, we have come so far, only to end up here. Well, yes, there is that. Hmm. What does he want? What do you want, Chayasir? We need more men and more workers if we're going to conquer these lands. You have a friendly face, Chayasir. Go out to Skull's Deep and intercept the refugees coming in. Woo them over with promises of food and shelter. It worked on you, did it not? <laughs> what do you think about that, Tuhal? Yes, yes. <sighs> Jaguar scum. They prey on the weak to further their conquests. We shall go to Skull's Deep, friend, but we will warn them away. Warn away the refugees in coming here instead. We will need to think of an excuse for not bringing any back, however. Yeah, yeah there is that little detail. Hmm. Yeah. We'll, we'll hear about his second one later. We need to hear a few more people. Yeah. There you go. And here, here. Have, have this. Go. A little bit of food. Oh no, actually no. This is medicine. I think is what you need there. Actually, probably a little bit of both will be more helpful. Here's something to help you grow stronger. Ah, uh, you're kinder than the Jangafar. Oh, well, that's not saying much. I had to tell you. After all, the Jangafar. I wonder if they even have a word for kindness. All right, here, here's um, medicine. All right. Well, if I could find a good place to stand. Oh, well. Uh, I hope she isn't dead or something. Hmm. Well, let's see. Maybe I need more medicine or something? Here, here's some food. Here. Yes, thank you for your kindness. Yep, you're welcome. Maybe I can treat this one. Maybe I have some appropriate medicine for this one. Good. And uh, here's something to help you get better. Good. Something to eat. And. Good. Alright, we've taken care of the hunger. I will hear your words. Will you hear mine? They were so grateful just to receive a few scraps of food. The sooner we get out of here, the better. I suppose that's true. Hmm. Ah, here is someone else who's ill. Hopefully I have some suitable medicine for her. Here you go, try this. I just want to go home. Well, based on what I heard, there isn't a home left down in the east. Ah, yes. Thank you for helping my people, Pine Leaf. Once all this is over, we can have another chance for a new life. Hopefully without wolves like the Jangovar feeding upon us. Oh, I just hope so. I just hope so. Did you say there was something else you needed me to do while fetching those refugees? Get to work! You! Get those laggards back to work! I do not care how. Whip them if you must. The doors will be upon us any day and we must be prepared. Well, what's that all about? Ah, yes. Toho is visibly upset. Hmm, oh yes. How can they treat us like this? Because we are not Jankovar. We are dogs to them. 
We have an idea. Yes. While it will appear that we are ordering them back to work, we will secretly loosen their shackles. We will tell them to flee the village when they can before the dwarves attack. It is the only way. We must be sneaky about this. Or it will surely be our heads. We must be sneaky about it. Can we be sneaky enough? Can we help them to escape? Can we feed the Jagavar? Will we allow the refugees to flee? We'll find that out in the next episode of Pine Leaf in the Northern Kingdom.